my name is Aaron Banks. I'm a shipwright. I have worked here for uh, Appledore for five years and I did my apprenticeship on the aircraft carrier. Well, I worked on a number of sections. Um, we built the bow sections here at uh, Appledore and um, the bulbous bow in particular was highly praised, the, uh, using heat lining techniques, fire and water, to bend the 35mm steel. If you put the heat into the steel, um, it goes all the way through, so from one surface to the other. And when you apply the water, you're only applying the water on one side, which cools only that side. And when you cool something, it contracts, so that side bends and you get the curvature. The tradesmen that we have, they're, they're all characters. They've all got uh, different stories, they've all got uh, different personality quirks and it's great that it's almost anyone can fit into a yard like this. Any, anyone who's got a quirky sense of humour or a strange skill set, it's always, everything's applicable with shipbuilding. It's, it's a, you're puzzle solving and um, struggling to find your way around a problem that you've never encountered before. It's always something new to learn, it's always something new to apply and I think that's what we're good at in Britain. We're good at finding alternative solutions to problems and this is, a, this is brilliant for that. It shows what we can do and it shows what people can aspire to. The aircraft carrier you can walk through and I think it's the, the sheer scale of what is being built. Um, if it was in the, our, our dock, the whole from the keel plate all the way up to the main deck, you'd get, it would be hanging out the top of the roof. It wouldn't fit physically inside this building and it's a big building and I think that's, that's phenomenal, something that, that big and helping to put that together. My brother's an officer in the Navy and to know that one day he might be sleeping in a room that I've helped build um, is, is great because we've got a joke that every time he comes home to visit and he annoys my mum, his bunk gets a little bit shorter. And, um, but it's, it's, it's great, it's just this, this to contribute to the defence of our country, to, the, to contribute to the continuation of this hundreds of years old tradition that we have here for uh, pride in our fleet and pride in the vessels that we build. I look forward to seeing the Queen name the vessel. I, uh, I think it will make me feel very proud to see it, especially since the section we, we constructed here was, um, it's the bow, it's the first part of the ship you see. It's the, uh, sort of what they say, the first impressions are everything and I hope that when anyone sees that they, sees the, they see the skill that we have in this country, in the tradesmen, and hope that it can continue on. It's given me a trade, it's given me um, something I never thought I'd, I'd aspire to and it's uh, allowed me to do things I've never been able to do before and uh, to just find my, you know, my goal in life and it's, it's changed who I am. Uh, my whole, whole family said that I've changed as a person, got better as a person through working on this and working here. The carrier traveling the world, she's an advertisement for the skills in this country, she's an advertisement for what we can do and I hope that the millions who see her are as awed and inspired by her as I was when I worked on her as an apprentice.